the creation of multi-tool blocks has been developed within machine design files. New or edited tool blocks will now have a list of tool locations with attributes to describe the type of tool to be held in each location. Tool blocks are now selectable from within tool mapping with an additional option to specify the subslot for multi tool blocks. Now, in this particular example, we can see we're in the machine design module and I've loaded in an MD file for a Morisaki NL. The first thing I'm going to do is just hide all of my solids and show only the turret and a new tool block that I've created called tool block double Z. If we zoom in here, what we can see is this tool block is capable of holding Z oriented tools for the main spindle and also for the sub spindle. So the way we go about setting up this tool block so we can go into our machine design and select tool block for turret. Under the tool block we can select the solid double Z like so. We've already specified its attach point to the turret and this has been denoted by our tool location UCS. And what we can see here is we have a new tab called tool locations. So if I select this option what we can see is we've predefined different locations for this particular tool block and we've do done this using the add function. If we wish to make any changes we can either select any of the different subslots and we can select edit or simply double click. For each subslot we've defined where the tool is located using a user coordinate system. If I reselect the subslot uh, one user coordinate system we can see a preview not only of the user coordinate system used but also of the tool location. Additionally we've def defined the type of tool to be used in this case a rotary Z tool and this has re been repeated for another location on the main spindle and two tool locations on the sub spindle. So I'm just going to apply an OK and I'm going to switch into an example part using the existing machine design file that we've just seen. Now if I go ahead and load in the machine, what we can see is that the tools have been automatically allocated with a single tool uh, per tool block. Here we can see a single tool has been allocated to each individual tool slot. Now if we wish to use our multi-tool block we can do so using our new option of select block. So for tool number two, this is currently being used for a pattern on the sub spindle. I'm going to go ahead and select the block that I wish to use. Using this drop down menu you can see all of the blocks predefined in our machine design file. So I'm going to go ahead and select the double Z and what we can see are all of the available sub slots that I can choose. As this tool is being used for machining on the sub spindle I'm going to go ahead and select sub slot 3. I can say OK and we can see the tool and the feature become a child of the tool block tool slot number nine we can see we're using a tool also allocated to the same feature. I'm going to go ahead and name this as tool number two. Set that like so and additionally specify that it's using the same tool block but this time sub slot four. I can repeat the process for two drills, a center drill and a twist drill. So for the twist drill, again rename this to tool number two and say set. And we can then choose the block as our tool block double Z. This time this tool is going to be allocated on sub slot one on the main spindle. And I can repeat this process finally for my center drill using sub slot two. So now we can see we have four different tools defined using our tool block double Z. 
Now, as I say, okay, we're going to get a warning just regarding the compensation register. So if this was to be used on a machine, we would specify different comp registers in order to tell the machine where the various tools are located. So I'm going to say OK and rerun through my machine simulation. If I just do a single step for now, what we can see is if I zoom in here, we've used our tool block double Z and we've allocated the various drills like so to the various subslots for that particular tool block. We can now go ahead and play through the simulation just to finish off the example. And we can see the finished part like so, machined using our multi-tool block.